Hi, I'm Kendall Shonacase here with Kevin Bryady, a two-time Emmy Award winner, songwriter, and musician. Kevin, tell me, when did you first become interested in music? Well, I, I, uh, I basically was, my, my dad is a Dixie, uh, was a Dixie trombone player. Um, so I was born uh, and, and quickly handed a trumpet, basically. Uh, but but uh, no, I'm kidding. But uh, um, I grew up in a very musical family um, and, um, and uh, grew up playing the trumpet. Uh, but I got very involved in sports as a high school kid and uh, into, into college. Um, so I, I basically stopped playing music for, for about 10 years. Um, and then I got back into music because I started writing uh, at about 25. I, I started writing and um, um, thought, hey, it'd be cool to, to uh, try writing songs. And so my wife bought me a, 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 an acoustic guitar for Christmas and uh, I started teaching myself how to play guitar and started uh, writing songs. Wow. Yeah, so late, late, I'm a late bloomer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when did you actually start performing? Well, I, I tease myself that I was basically Quasimodo for, for a long time. I, I have a studio um, in Connecticut that's up uh, on the third floor, just shy of the attic uh, of this old house. And um, uh, for 10 years, I just uh, went up there and I wrote and I wrote and I wrote and uh, I didn't really do a lot of performance. And um, uh, it, when I was, uh, I guess, about 35 or so, um, like that, I started. I started doing more performance. Um, there's, you know, what, there's a there's a fo great folk festival in Kerrville, Texas, um, and I started going down to that folk festival, and and uh, it's just for so uh, they have a competition just for songwriters, and uh, as I started doing that, uh, I, I was being encouraged to start singing my own songs as well and, yeah. and uh, so um, so I've been doing that now for about 12 13 14 years something like that Wow so were you a natural performer did you get stage fright oh gosh yeah <laughs> uh, I still have it no no uh, I I, um, I I definitely would not eat uh, the day of a performance when I first started performing uh, sometimes sometimes the day before a performance um, I don't I don't have that problem anymore though <laughs> yeah, I could use that problem <laughs> uh, no big <laughs> so I hear you performed with some pretty big names tell me about those experiences um, well they're they're all uh, unique um, you know I mean they're, 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 some of the cool things that you get to do is is is, uh, um, is, is uh, meet and hang out with people who are uh, really iconic in, 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 in your eyes. Um, uh, so I, I have, um, uh, you know, I, I'll never forget pulling up to a, to a venue um, and I got out of the car, it was, parking was right behind the stage, uh, it was an outdoor venue, um, and, and uh, I got out, I opened the door and I heard Bridge Over Troubled Water uh, mm -hmm. by, by Art Garfunkel and, and uh, you know, I just kind of stood there for a while and, and uh, thought, gosh, I love this song, you know, and, and uh, I'd known it for so long and loved it for so long and, and so that was a lot of, lot of fun. Um, um, I, I had an interesting uh, experience, um, you know, o opening, um, uh, geez, um, American Pie. Somebody help me. Don McLean. Don McLean, thank you. So Don <laughs> McLean is is uh, uh, singing American Pie, and I open for Don McLean, and and it's American Pie, you know, yeah. and and uh, and. Uh, I, I'm, I'm listening to him perform, and, and um, he got the words wrong. So I felt good about, you know, I can make a mistake any time now. Yeah. <laughs> if he can do it, I can do it. Wow. So would so, you say that's one of your favorite people you've ever performed with? Well, I think my, my, the, the favorite person I've ever performed with is uh, Janice Ian, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, lives down in, in uh, Nashville. Um, and just because um, early on, um, She's a sweet, sweet lady. She she um, she uh, took me um, and invited me to dinner. We didn't know each other. Uh, she invited me to dinner. We sat down. We had dinner together. And and um, Janice is very um, 
she 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 understands that there are there are um, generations, and that uh, mm -hmm. that uh, older people need to teach younger people, and who need to teach younger people, and and so forth and so on. And so, um, I got a, just such a great little education about um, the music business, performance in general, um, a professional approach, mm -hmm. uh, thing, things of that sort. That um, you know, I'll probably. I'll, I, I refer back to that in my brain all the yeah. time, you know. That's neat. Yeah. All right, let's talk about your actual music a little bit more. So what was the first song you ever wrote? Uh, it, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't very good, Kendall. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it was called Renaissance, was the name of, of the um, song. Um, and I was living uh, in Connecticut in a town called Norwalk, Connecticut. I went to the beach. It was the first day of spring. Um, and I wanted to quit my job, which I was fixing to do, and um, um, and uh, you know, kind of um, go do this rebirth, new career thing. Um, uh, but um, I, I, I often, sometimes I go to schools to, uh, and and uh, do songwriting workshops with with uh, younger kids, mm -hmm. and so they they always want to know that the answer to that question, your first song, and so. I share it with them, although I'm, I'm blocking it at, at this point. I, I, I try not to remember this song. <laughs> but uh, one of the lyrics, just to give you an example of how, how bad it was, one of the lyrics was, uh, let's see, it goes, uh, sun dies on a worn out winter day, tide brings forth life's promise, and the renaissance um, of the spring, he needs the renaissance of his being. Thoughts fly as he walks this beach alone. He looks cautiously over his shoulder to see he stood still too long, and his naked wisdom sings. And that's when the second graders explode, because you know, <laughs> wisdom isn't naked; just people are. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, it, it was. Um, as I tell, as I tell the younger kids, um, you write your first song so that you can write your next song, mm -hmm. and you write your next song so that you can make number three a little bit better, and hopefully that's that's the way uh, it progresses. Right. You know. So, what inspires you to write your songs? Are there any specific influences? Um, I, I think that um, I I. I'm lucky. I get to I get to write about what I'm thinking about. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't have uh, I don't have a whole lot of you know outside pressures on me. Um, you know, I'm not gonna write you this love song. I'm, you know, I don't have that. Um, uh, so I, I so I write about. Um, what what what's on my mind and um, you know. Uh, I'm a dad. Uh, I'm a husband. Um, uh, I got an old house that I that I like working on. Uh, I'm I'm a coach, um, and so you know that kind of defines my my little compartments of my world. Um, and so uh, I write about that. You know, mm -hmm. I, write, I write about the things that come up that I that I really um, uh, may not understand. And may want to, you know. Mm -hmm. um, to to me, that's really the beauty of songwriting is is you get you get to go somewhere, um, the, and and try and figure it out, you know. Yeah. Try and figure out what it's like, and it and it may be my place, and it may be uh, somebody else's place uh, that I got a little view of one way or another, and uh, and so I can I can be that person. I can explore that place, um, and that's I. I I, I enjoy that very much. Yeah. yeah. So, is there one specific place that you like to just sit down and write? Uh, I, I do. Uh, Quasimodo Land, um, uh, up in the studio. I, I've been there for, I guess, I guess it's got to be close to 15 years. Uh, I, I I used to write uh, when the kids were uh, just born, when we started having, uh, raising a family. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to write. My my wife had a had a straight job. Uh, I was home uh, with the kids, and um, and so uh, basically the idea was to write during naps. Mm -hmm. So you know, one o'clock, bottle, diaper, sleep for a couple hours so I can so I can write 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 something, mm -hmm. which sometimes 
worked and sometimes didn't. Right. <laughs> but um, but then um, then uh, my wife left her job and and uh, I went and rented some space uh, in town and uh, and and uh, it's it's quiet. Um, it's uh, got a nice little uh, window that sits above Main Street, mm -hmm. so it's right in town. Um, I could scoot over to uh, my kids' elementary school, which is right next door, if I needed to. You know, hey, uh, yeah. you know, Casey's got a fever, come and get her, kind of thing. I could do that. So it, it all it all worked really great. But mostly it was just quiet, and quiet was good. Yeah. We have five kids. Quiet is really <laughs> good sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So. So do you always write alone, or do you ever write with other people? I do collaborate. Um, uh, I spent quite a bit of time in Nashville mm -hmm. um, during the during the 90s, mostly. Um, gosh, I feel old all of a sudden. But anyway, <laughs> um, uh, and um, and you know, did did a lot of uh, co-writing there. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I, I have four or five friends back home in Connecticut who I like to write with, and uh, and I do do that as well. And then I also, um, you know, I also do a, a thing which is uh, an artist in residence program at at schools, mm -hmm. where I'll go in and I'll write with an entire grade, uh, in a in a like say a fifth grade, um, we'll go and 150 kids uh, and I will will will, will um, collaborate on. Writing a song, which is wow. yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's um, a little tricky at times, but um, we spend a week together and we mm -hmm. we um, you know we talk about lyric and melody and what makes a good idea a great idea and how do you how do you um, uh, 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 complement it with in instrumentation um, and, uh, and and in the end we we have. Uh, a new song kind of thing. Wow. So how did that all come about? How did you get the opportunity to do such a thing? That, um, I, I did a, um, about 10 years ago, um, I, I received the honor of being uh, named uh, the Connecticut State Troubadour, mm -hmm. um, which uh, Connecticut has a state troubadour. I bet you didn't know that. Um, but. Um, uh, and 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 I, I remember having dinner one time, and my brother was sitting where you are, and a waiter comes up, and he, he says, "Do you realize that?" To, to the waiter, he says, "Do you realize that he, he, this is the Connecticut State Troubadour?" So the waiter goes back to to uh, to the bar and and uh, brings us our drinks, and and he says, uh, "Hey, if you ever stop me on the road, will you remember me?" And he had thought that I was a Connecticut State Trooper, <laughs> yeah. but um, but I. I, 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 I uh, uh, so as the Connecticut State Troubadour, um, the, the, the basic idea was that I, I kind of traveled around the state and um, did a lot of performance. Um, I did not have to wear tights. Uh, uh, there was no silk involved, no <laughs> velvet. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed it because um, yeah. it got me basically from kind of the public coffee house place um, into a, a more of a... Uh, a teaching environment oftentimes, um, public schools, uh, libraries, uh, places of that, of that sort. And, um, you know, I do a lot of storytelling in, in, in my music, and uh, it sits nicely in those places. Um, and so, um, so I, I kind of, it, that kind of evolved into developing this artist in residence program. Um, that the state of Connecticut actually supports. So when I go into a school, um, the, the, the state of Connecticut uh, Department of the Arts actually um, helps fund my program, you know, in, uh, songwriting program in, in the school. Mm -hmm. um, so I do like two, sometimes three of those a year. Um, wow. Yeah, which is a lot, because it takes up a lot of, uh, of my brain when I'm doing it. But um, um, that's about all I can handle is two or three a year right. of that. But so it seems like music's basically your life. Well, yeah, it is. Um, you know, if you looked at my house, you would think that because, <laughs> uh, you know, one side of the house always needs painting. <laughs> um, uh, but I, 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 um, I, I love music and I, mm -hmm. I, I love creating. Um, but, you know, I spend a lot of time... Um, uh, moving kids to 
uh, soccer fields and basketball right. courts. Uh, I spent a lot of time coaching kids on, on baseball fields. Um, uh, I, I spend a lot of time in the garden. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and, and I find that all of, all of those things feed one another for me. Right. Um, you know, they, it, it, you know uh, they're, they're all complementing one another. Right. They're all making one another better in, in, in my place, in my world. Um, so so that, that's what I try to do. I try to listen and, and uh, uh, you know, cutting the grass, that doesn't really work for me. <laughs> But, um, but like that, you know? Right. So what role do you feel that the music takes specifically in your house and with your family? Well, each, each kid's different mm -hmm. um, in, in, in uh, almost, almost in the circle of life fashion. My son, who is a, a uh, freshman uh, in high school, uh, he, he couldn't be happier that he has uh, uh, received permission that he can now uh, uh, stop playing the bass. He's very happy about that. Uh, uh, in, in, instruments were, are, are mandatory. I feel like music is a language that people ought to, ought to learn, right. um, like Spanish. Um, and, and, um, and so it, it's, it's mandatory, for better or for worse, in, in our house uh, through, through the eighth grade. But he w so he was, he was very happy uh, yeah. to, to uh, you know, it's a big instrument, you know. Okay. Um, but um, my May, she's a, she's a great piano player. She's in the, in the sixth grade now. Um, Johnny, our caboose, he, he's in the fourth grade. He plays piano. May plays the flute, too. Yeah. Our eldest, Tara, plays the viola. Although, you know, she used to call it social suicide to, to uh, bring the viola to school. So <laughs> I had to, I mean, there are times that I actually brought the, I mean, I could commit social suicide. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just the dad. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but um, she, she, enjoy, you know, and you know, what, what I really love uh, is, Tara's in college now, but um, she would come home from high school uh, the last couple of years, and uh, we've got this old piano in our, in our, in our house, and, and she would come home. Most of the time, she, she'd be doing sports after school, but if she mm -hmm. came home after school, a lot of times she'd go right to YouTube, pull something up, sit down at the piano, and and go figure it out. Mm -hmm. And and uh, you know that that's magic for yeah. for me as a dad to to uh, to you know to see my kid start connecting in that in that fashion. Uh, mm -hmm. You know that's a, that's really really great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your achievements and your Grammys and the experiences. Well, um, I, I um, you know, it's a funny story. I, I, um, I was coaching a baseball team, little kids, probably eight years old, um, and a dad came up and, and, uh, and said, hey, I hear you write music. And I said, I do. And he said, well, I, 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 I'm a music supervisor for One Life to Live. And... Uh, Maybe you'd like to send me some stuff. So I sent him some stuff, and um, he started using my my music uh, in his program. And um, and uh, he called me up some months later and said, um, "I got a I got a scene. Uh, it's a mother and a daughter. It's it's uh, uh, just before prom. Uh, the daughter's getting ready, and uh, it's kind of a nice mother daughter moment." Um, and uh, maybe maybe you could write a song for that scene. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I mean, the only the only mother daughter prom pre prom moments that I knew were pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's not what they were looking for. So I wrote this nice little song, um, and it's a real sweet thing. And and um, and they you know I sent it to them, and and uh, Paul called me up and said, Hey, we're going to use it. We like it. And I thought that was great, and mm -hmm. uh, so I got to camp out with my mom on the couch and watch it on TV because, you know, I didn't. My songs hadn't been on TV. Right. You know, I mean, I, 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 I barely crossed the town line, you know, kind of mm -hmm. thing. And here, here I, so, so, um, so that was kind of cool. And then, uh, you know, uh, Paul maybe sends me an email or says, "Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna submit. It's called Little Star, the song. Mm -hmm. We're gonna submit Little Star, Little Star for, um, for an Emmy." 
And I was like, really? That's that's great, you know. Yeah. And and uh, so they went and did that, and then he called me up uh, some months later and leaves me a message on on my machine and says, uh, "Hey, Kev, congratulations! Uh, Little Star is just nominated for an Emmy." Wow. And uh, you know, we kind of looked at each other and said, "Is this really the way it works?" You know. <laughs> and and so my wife and I got to go to New York City and uh, go to the Emmys, and and um, we had a great time and. And um, and Little Star ended up winning winning an Emmy, wow. like that. It was pretty cool. That's I had to do the whole, cool. you know. I like to thank my wife, uh -huh. speech and all that, and um, uh, it was a lot of fun. Wow. Got to wear my brother's tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that's that. exciting. Yeah, it was. <laughs> and it fit. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. I thought he was a lot bigger than I was actually, but you know, you know. So how about the second Emmy? The second Emmy was, um, you know, just as fun, uh, very different, uh, mm -hmm. sad little song. It's called We All Fall Down. Sweet, sad little song. Um, and um, uh, uh, what was cool about that was, you know, I'd already done this. Uh, you know, so I knew the process. Um, so you know, the, it, it wasn't really. It was, hey, I wonder. I wonder if it'll get not. Hey, I wonder if if it if, if it'll win. You know, like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the fun part was that, that the the Emmys were out in L.A. Uh, that next year. Um, so so uh, my wife and I it was just before school was starting. We had, you know, four million things to do um, for the kids to get ready for school. We ignored all of them. <laughs> And uh, irresponsibly uh, shuttled off to, to California uh, for about 36, 48 hours, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but we, you know, we got to um, we got to go to Santa Monica. We got to uh, you know swim in the Pacific. Mm -hmm. um, and we got to um, just hang out in California for a couple of days. Um, got got to got to win an Emmy, which was cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I, and and then. You know, hurry back home and uh, kiss the kids before they get on the bus, like that. Wow. You know that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. Probably didn't work out quite that <laughs> well, but yeah. Well, that's exciting! Wow. Yeah. So, are there any other achievements that you want to talk about? Oh, um, no, I, I don't think there's any uh, Emmys on the horizon. <laughs> um, uh, but you know, um, I would say that that. Um, um, it, 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 doing what I do, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if it's just me, or or it's uh, being a musician or, or or what. But you know, I I um, I generally um, try to uh, follow where people want to lead me, and yeah. and uh, and I, and I try to um, um, I try to walk through that door. I try to show up at that door. I try to walk through that door, mm -hmm. um, and usually there's nice stuff going on inside, you know. Right. And uh, with 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 the project that I'm I'm here in in Kansas doing with Sing, that's that's what that's an, just another example of of um, someone being nice enough to to in, invite me in, kind of thing. Right. So. Any big. Future plans coming up, or just going with the flow? Uh, oh, it's pretty good with the flow yeah. for me. Yeah, uh, <laughs> planning's not my strong suit. Um, but um, no, we're, we're going to be um, over the next four weeks. Uh, we'll be in different places, mm -hmm. um, locations, uh, doing the same competition, um, and um, uh, that's about as far as I can see. Mm -hmm. uh, I I think that my youngest has a football game, uh, you know, five weeks out. So that, uh, so I go five weeks out. That's probably pretty good. All right. Yeah, those are good. the big plans. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're welcome, Ken. And please stay tuned at the 2011 Sing.com for contest results and for the grand prize winners. I'm here at the Sing competition with Faith, Ella, and Josie. And Josie here is going to tell us what the winner of this competition gets. All right, we get um, $5,000 for us and then $20,000 to a choice of, of charity. 
And I'm about to ask these girls what their favorite experience here was. Um, my favorite experience is just being a part of it and like singing. I'm here with Elena at the sing competition, and Elena's going to tell us a little about how this experience has been so far. Well, so far it's been a really eye-opening experience. We kind of like all the opportunities that are out there to sing. But most of all, it's just been a lot of fun to be able to share my voice, but also to have the opportunity to be able to possibly help somebody, to give them money to charity, stuff like that. So it's a really um, awesome experience to be able to be given to. I'm here with Willa Wahlberg at the Sing Competition. She's going to tell us a little bit about how much fun this has been. It's been a really good inspiration for me, and I think I'll, I will like it, and um, I'm happy that I get to meet Kevin Briotti. I'm here at the Sing Competition with Gianna, and Gianna's going to tell us a little bit about how this experience has been for her. Well, it's just been really cool because I just love singing, and I just feel like it's a great opportunity because I don't get, I mean, there's not a lot of times you get to sing in front of this many people, and it's just amazing. I'm here with Dwayne at the sing competition and he's going to tell us a little bit about how this experience has been for him. The experience has been great. I'm very pleased with the turnout. Uh, meeting Kevin Brady was the highlight of the evening. Uh, I'm very excited about the competition.